Have you ever wondered if Polish women and American women dress differently? And what do I think as an American of Polish fashion? Let's find out in today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sarah and I am an American expat living in Krakow, Poland. On this channel, we talk all about my life in Poland, what it's like to be an American living overseas and all of that kind of stuff. So if you like this type of content, and if you're interested in learning more about some differences between Poland and America, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. So I know that you like this kind of content. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about fashion trends. So I am no fashionista, but I really like clothing, hair, makeup, and I like to look nice. So while I may not follow like the latest Gucci 2023 spring fashion trends, I know what I like and I kind of can see what's going on around me because I am going to the mall and you know just looking around and paying attention to what people are wearing. So we're going to be talking all about what Polish women are wearing versus what American women are wearing and talking about some of my experiences um, going back to America, kind of seeing everything firsthand and then finally discussing is if I dress like a Polish person. So let's go ahead and dive right into all of this stuff. But again, hit the subscribe button, like this video. Now that you've already done that, let's go ahead and get started. So a few months ago, I ended up going back to America to visit my family. And when I was packing to go back to America, obviously I was going back in like the fall winter time. So it was really cold. I was heading back to Boise, Idaho, and you're packing sweaters, you're packing jackets and scarves and boots. And like, you can't, like you can still fashion forward when you're dressing for cold weather, but it's not like next level fashion, like how it would be like spring, summer, or even early fall. So I kind of just packed a variety of things um, and didn't really think twice of it, right? Because it's how I dress while I'm here. It's the things I already had in my closet. So I went back to the States and I started dressing and like coming downstairs, um, you know, getting ready to go out and do the things that we were going to do for the day. My mom was like, oh, you're really dressed up today. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? She goes, well, you know, people around here in Boise don't really dress that nice. And I was like, huh, this is kind of interesting. So that kind of was what prompted me a little bit to film this video because I just thought it was so fascinating that uh, my mom, who's known me for <laughs> this entire time, uh, noticed that things were a little different. So one specific example I remember is I was there for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for, you know, everyone knows it's like this huge American holiday. Um, and usually you, um, you know, put on something nicer than a pair of sweatpants. Maybe some people do wear sweatpants, up to you, but uh, usually that's kind of how we've always done it is, you know, put something a little bit nicer on. What I have always done since living in Poland, I guess, um, are wearing the rastope, so the sheer tights um, underneath skirts or dresses or shorts, because it's kind of like a cool layered look. It keeps you warm, but it also looks kind of nice. It can be casual and dressed up. So I kind of use that for a lot of different things. And I had brought that when I went to the States. And so for Thanksgiving, that was actually one of the things I wore. And I came out, my mom's like, oh, tights are in style now. I haven't seen that since, you know, 1992. And I was a little shocked because I had like Polish women around here wear that all the time. And in America, you really don't. And it just kind of made me think like, huh, maybe I am dressing a little bit differently. Um, and the entire time I was in the States, I did not see anyone wearing tights and shorts or tights and dresses or tights and skirts. Like, I mean, I have, like you'll see them on Instagram, but I never saw anyone wearing that in Boise, Idaho. Uh, again, every state is different, every city is different, but that's what I experienced in Boise. Uh, and people commented a few different times of like what I was wearing. It didn't look bad at all. Like it looked really nice and it was super cute, but it was just a little bit shocking for other people to see, oh, you're wearing tights today. It's kind of strange. Um, I wore it a few other times too, you know, like with combat boots or, you know, whatever. And it, it's a winter outfit, right? Because the Polish women wear that all the time over here. But it was something that I didn't notice while I was over there. Another example is <laughs> we were going out to the mall one day and um, I just asked my mom like, hey, you know, this is what I had. Is this going to be okay? Like, you know, this is what I was planning on wearing. And she goes, oh, you were going to wear heel booties to the mall? That's a little bit nicer. Like most people don't do that. They just wear tennis shoes. And I was like, oh, because to me, like, I just always wear like a heel booty. I'm not talking like stilettos or Louboutins or anything like that. I'm just like a heel booty. And she's like, yeah, people don't really wear a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, and it was true, like just walking around, I was one of the only people who had like a little bit of a heel booty on. Uh, everyone else was just wearing like sneakers. Um, so it was, it was kind of interesting, but like for me, something so normal was not normal over in Boise. Um, 
And kind of what I noticed while I was over there is people were just wearing like sweatpants or sweatshirts or tennis shoes or baggy, baggy clothing uh, all the time, really. And like not really doing their hair, not really doing their makeup, not to say you need to do those things, but just compared to the Polish women, I really felt that uh, the American women didn't put as much effort into their appearance. I feel like the Polish women are so next level. They dress really nice. Their hair is always done. Their makeup is always done. They look really good and really put together. And uh, it was even more apparent coming back from the States to you know walk through the mall or downtown or whatever and just see fashionably looking women. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with wearing jeans and a t-shirt. I do that a lot <laughs> when I'm just hanging out and stuff. But like when I go out of my house, I do make an effort to you know, look a little bit put together and it doesn't have to be super crazy, but that's just what I do because all of the other women around here do the same. Uh, I felt, I found when I was in Idaho, the more I was there, the less effort I felt like putting in because everyone else really wasn't doing that either. And so, again, it's, uh, so much of this personal preference, of course you don't have to dress a certain way or look a certain way or whatever. Uh, it's really, you're doing what makes you happy. But it just, it was such an interesting thing to note uh, that had other people comment on it as well, that there really is a difference in style and the way that you present yourself and how you choose to look. Another interesting thing too, is my husband kind of started to adopt this as well. We flew from Warsaw to Chicago for our flight back to the States. And on our flight there, he just wore his sweats, right? I mean, like black Adidas sweatpants, nothing crazy, just like black pants and Nike shoes and a sweatshirt. Totally acceptable here in Poland. Like so many guys wear sweatpants, track suits. It's so fashion forward for men to do that. And so that's what he, like he'll do that. And then I'll wear like a nicer put together outfit. And that is so classic, like absolute classic Polish couple uh, and just trendy styles of what is currently going on here. So when we get into Chicago, we get off the plane, we go through customs, all that, and we go to catch our next flight. And then you see everyone around you, all the men wearing jeans, blazers, nice shoes, and we flew in on like a Wednesday or something. So it was like no big deal. But the men were all dressed nicely and the women were not. And it was shocking like to see that. And my husband was like, I feel so out of place right now to wear sweats instead of jeans. I need to go put my jeans on. And it's like, he just felt so out of place. And it's, it's very funny to me to have that difference there. Uh, that dichotomy of men in the States tend to dress a little bit nicer overall than the women do and then the women here tend to put more effort into their appearance than the men do of course everyone is different everyone has their own style but i would say just a generalized concept is that the men really put in more effort for how they looked within the u.s so again i don't know maybe that's not that way maybe it's different works i don't know but just from my experience here uh, specifically living and going out and about in krakow that's kind of what we noticed and the question you guys have all been waiting for, am I actually dressing as a Polish woman? Uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard for me to tell. I don't think that I am. But then I go back to America and people are commenting on like my style or how I look. Um, and then, you know, obviously I'm shopping here in Europe, so I'm buying things that are here. So I guess maybe I am dressing like a Polish person. Of course, there are things like are my own style, things I prefer, and everyone has that, right? So. I think really your style is your thing. How you want to uh, present yourself to the world is completely up to you. And if you feel comfortable and confident, then that's what you should do. But um, I think I have started to adopt more of that European style um, just because of where I live, where I'm shopping, what I'm seeing, and um, taking some of the things that I like about Polish fashion and kind of adopting it within you know, my own wardrobe and my own sense of style. Um, it is so funny to me though to see all the Polish women at Sephora and I find here uh, in Krakow that the Sephoras are always packed. They are so busy. Uh, the women are just buying makeup all the time. The hair salons are always really busy. Um, all the women here have beautiful hair, beautiful skin. Uh, they just look really, really well put together. Um, and I know, you know, it's diet and lifestyle and all this other stuff that kind of plays into it, but just in general, Polish women just seem to take really big pride in their appearance and how they look and um, it's very very rare for me personally to walk out and see a Polish 
woman who just kind of like rolled out of bed and just threw on baggy sweatpants and um, didn't brush her hair. It's I, it's very rare to see that. Uh, the only time I really will see it is at the gym, but even then women still put in effort when they go to the gym. So uh, yeah, I think that's very interesting. So um, yeah, especially when you're just comparing men and women fashion in the US and America, I would say that's probably the biggest difference that um, I've noticed. Another difference, I guess, between like fashion in the States versus in Poland is I feel that the Polish women are a bit more selective about the clothes they buy because simply there's just not enough space to keep everything right. If you are a total shopaholic and you're going out all the time and buying something new for each new occasion, where are you going to put it? I mean, you're going to have to donate it. You're going to have to resell it. But like it just simply will not fit in your apartment. Apartments, generally speaking, are really small here. And so you can't fit everything into a closet. Um, whereas in the States, you usually have these huge walk-in closets, multiple closets, you have big homes. So you can put things you know, in a lot of different rooms and really start to accumulate a lot of stuff. So I do think that the shopping habits in America are more intense. And because of that, I think Americans just kind of buy stuff because it's there and oh, I have this occasion here, or I have this here, or I want to look like this here, uh, instead of just buying intentionally. Whereas I do feel that generally speaking, Polish people are more selective with what they buy and really choose classic pieces that are going to last a long time and that are going to fit within their style or you know even evolve a little bit as they um, grow or go into different situations. So I do think that's interesting because even in the States, I just saw people buying stuff all the time, you know, people would just have bags on them and, you know, like all of these clothes, but then, you know, you would just, you know, end up wearing the same thing over and over and over, but you would have all of these clothes because I might wear this one day. So I do think it's like that consumer mentality in America that is just very different from the fashion purchasing over here. Again, not to say that, you know, people don't hoard here or people don't uh, buy smart over in the States. You know, everyone is going to do it different, but just again, an overall general speaking, um, that's what I've noticed. And especially in my own life, I'm becoming much more um, aware of what I'm purchasing and how I'm going to wear this. Is this going to be versatile? Can I have this for years? Is it good quality? Am I investing more in this because it's going to last me a long time? Um, so just paying more attention to that. And I do think it's just because, I mean, I am getting older, yes, but I do think it's kind of that mentality over here as well. So also your experience with Polish women or even Polish guys when it comes to fashion, uh, wearing clothing, shopping for stuff, purchasing habits, that kind of stuff. I would love to know. So again, leave them in the comments below and we can have a discussion about that. But that's pretty much everything I had uh, for this video. Hope you, hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, enjoy a little bit of my insight from my trip back to the States um, regarding fashion. So if you guys have any other comments, suggestions, things like that for future videos, please let me know. I would love to get your recommendations um, and feedback. I'm going to be putting out some uh, more recent content and more regular content. So please should be sure to subscribe, like this video, stick around. We'd love to have you join um, this little part of my of the YouTube community uh, as we talk about Poland and all that kind of stuff. So again, thanks guys so much for sticking around. I will see you in my next video.